For problem 11, we have a questionnaire was given to students. The first question was asked, how stressed have you been in the last week on a scale of zero to 10, with zero being not stressed at all, and 10 being as stressed as possible? The responses are shown to the right in the frequency distribution. Which of the following, which stress rating describes the greatest number of students? So look in the frequency column and find the highest number. I see 24. Oh, right below that is 26. I'll check again to make sure that is the highest number. And the stress rating was 8. Part B, how many students responded with this rating? 26. So on some of the problems, they've given you a frequency distribution, and they're going to ask you questions about that frequency distribution. Let's look at 12. A questionnaire was given to students in an introductory statistics class during the first week of the course. One question asks, how stressed have you been in the last two and a half weeks on a scale of zero to 10, with zero being not stressed at all and 10 being as stressed as possible? The students' responses are shown in the frequency distribution below. How many students were involved in the study? So I have my picture here. How many students were involved in the study? I would take the frequencies and do what? Just, just add them up. This is a good opportunity to talk about something you might see sometimes. You might see a third column, I'll put it on here, with cumulative frequency. Sometimes they'll show that. The cumulative frequency is I start with the first category, which is a stress rating of zero, and there were six people that said that. The next line on the cumulative frequency, I would do the previous plus the next one. Six plus four is 10. The next line on the cumulative frequency, 10 plus one is 11. The next line, 11 plus 17 is 28. 28 plus 15, 43. I will go ahead and double check that on my calculator. 28 plus 15, 43. 43 plus the next one, 43 plus 13, 56. 56 plus 16, 72. 72 plus 28, 100. 100 plus 24 is 124. 124 plus 15 is 139. 139 plus 10 is 149. So sometimes you might see such a table like that. But that does answer the question they were asking me. How many participated in the study? 149 students were in the study. Number 13 is an example of the, the type I called the single number frequency distribution. Each category has is a, a single number. On number 13, a random sample of 30 college students is selected. Each student is asked how much time he or she spent on homework during the previous week. The following times and hours are obtained. 
we have 19, 17, 18, 25, 24, 18, 17, and so on. Construct a frequency distribution for the data. 15. I have to count how many said 15. Let's see, I'm going to start at the beginning. I will suggest an alternate way to do this problem. As I'm kind of scanning my numbers, and I'm thinking three. I don't know about you, but I'm likely going to miss something if I do it that way. What might be better, let's tack on another little column. You do this on your scratch paper. Now, this is not cumulative. This is just I want to figure it from the start. 19, I'll put a little mark there. 17, 18, 25, 24, 18. What do I do when I get to five marks on the line? We'll do what's called bundle them. Okay, I'm up to 22, 25, 18, 20, 24, 16, 17, 15, 15, 18, 24, 25, 19, 20, 21. Here's another 20, so that makes 25 in the 20 category. So I'll put a line through it, easier to count that way. 22, 15, 16, 19. Then in the spaces provided, 15, there were three students. 16, there were two. 17, we had three. 18, we have four. 19 was three. 20 was five. 21 is two. 22 is 2, 23 is 0, 24 is 3, and 25 is 3. So you will, they will ask you to do some frequency distributions. On the next page, there's one. I'm thinking of, not the next page, the, the number 17. It's like the one I just did. 17, though, is about ages of when a country's presidents were inaugurated. Construct a grouped frequency distribution. They've given you the categories. 41 to 45. You know, I'm thinking this on this problem. I do, might do it the way I just did the previous. The first one is 49. I'll put a mark in the category 46 to 50. 42, 45, 47, 55, 60. And you know what to do on this problem, right? I probably don't need to finish it. 